Hello, I'm Burke Jackowicz, General Counsel for Washington Trust Bank. It's my pleasure to join you again as we prepare to enter into the next phase of the Paycheck Protection Program, the Loan Forgiveness Phase. A few days ago, the SBA released the PPP Loan Forgiveness Form. Jason Tellinghusen, our Director of Financial Reporting, has prepared three videos for you that provide examples on how to calculate the PPP loan forgiveness amounts based on the current loan forgiveness application form. I do want to emphasize that is the current loan forgiveness application form. I think if there's one thing we've all learned about these programs is that they there will be change. And so we expect that the loans will change and there's actually legislation in Congress right now that would provide some change that would be useful to our small business owners. The PPP has three main features that make it useful for our small businesses. One, the quick access to liquidity, two, loan forgiveness, and three, access to low cost capital for anything that remains on the loan amounts. We've worked through the loan application together, and we're happy that we've supported thousands of our customers in that process. Again, it was a process that included a lot of change. Now the focus turns to the loan forgiveness. This is the potentially the most important feature for our PPP companies. As we discussed with you at the beginning of the PPP, there was concerns about how small businesses were going to be able to deploy the PPP funds in the eight week covered period, and 75% of those costs being applied to payroll when many of you have not been re able to reopen your businesses. Currently in Congress, there are bills ready to be voted on that would address some of these weaknesses that have appeared in the program. The Paycheck Protection Flexibility Act would one, extend the covered period to use PPP funds from eight weeks to 16 weeks, providing you more time to deploy your PPP funds and still get forgiveness. Two, eliminate the 75-25 rule, which would allow you to use the PPP funds in any ratio for qualified utilities and payroll and still get forgiveness. Three, allow the term of the PPP loan to be extended from two years to 10 years, which would lower your monthly payment amounts as you repay any amounts that were not forgiven on the loan. Four, overrule the IRS by allowing you to take tax deductions for payroll expenses that you paid using PPP funds that are ultimately forgiven. And five, extend the hire back deadline from June 30th to coincide with the end of the $600 government kicker for unemployment. In addition, the Senate bill would allow the businesses to use PPP funds in order to purchase personal protective equipment for employees and other equipment needs to reopen their business under the various state rules. These seem to be reasonable changes and meet the needs of the, our businesses as the situation around COVID closings continues to evolve and has different impacts depending on the state and even the city where you live and work. We encourage you to reach out to your congressional delegations and urge them to take quick action and approve these changes. Turning to loan forgiveness, last week the SBA issued the borrower loan forgiveness application. We provided a link of that application on our website at wadtrust.com. It's 11 pages long and most of that is instruction. As we predicted, it will be complicated. As you work through the forgiveness applications, there's a few things that I want to highlight. First, the SBA is not currently accepting any loan forgiveness applications and therefore neither is the bank. We're waiting for additional instructions regarding how we are going to submit the materials to the SBA for your loan forgiveness. Once we have that information, we can finalize our process and start to take your applications. We'll let you know when we're ready. Second, unlike the loan application process, there's no rush to seek loan forgiveness. The PPP is fully funded by Congress. Once you received your ETRAN number and we funded your loan, that full amount was locked in and that full amount was set aside with the SBA for your company. There are no payments on your loan for six months and we advise you to continue to deploy your funds as allowed under the program for payroll and utility expenses. Keep great records on how you're spending the money and if you haven't been able to hire back your employees, make a plan on how you're going to accomplish that by June 30th. Third, be ready for change. One thing that's been consistent about the PPP is that it's going to evolve. The pending legislation would be excellent to support our customers, but it would significantly change the loan forgiveness application and that entire process. Be prepared to have a completely different application or to provide some different documentation as we move forward. What won't change is that your forgiveness funds are already locked in with the SBA up to the maximum amount of your loan. Thank you 
And I hope that you enjoy the videos and you find them instructive that Jason Tellinghusen has provided for you. If you have any questions, please reach out to your banker.